In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the absolute basics of how to use Roblox Studio. So after watching this video, you're basically going to be a pro. Okay, well, not really. But this video will serve as a starting place if you don't know where to start with your Roblox game development journey. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So the first thing I'm going to go over is just simply how to download. So once you open up Roblox, uh, just go up to this create page right here. This page isn't going to look the same for me and you because I already have Studio. But if I'm not mistaken, uh, when you open this page, it should say somewhere like in like big text like, oh, download Roblox Studio. Once you download Roblox Studio and you open it up, this is what you're going to see. So the first thing uh, I'm going to do is click base plate right here. And this will open up a new game. Okay, so now we're in. Um, first thing I'm going to go over is how to move. So it's pretty simple. All it is is WASD. So WASD is to move around, right? And slowly you speed up as you press in different directions. And then to turn, you simply hold on your right mouse button. Like this. And you can use a scroll wheel, zoom in and out. So your Roblox Studio won't look exactly like mine. Like for example, I have this window, I have these three windows right here. But if you want to add specific things, you just go up here to the view tab and you select what you want to put in. But for now, we won't worry about that. I'll talk more about that later. Okay, the next thing I'm going to go over is how to make parts. So once you're in the home tab, all you have to do is select part and it spawns in a part right here. So it just spawns in. This is the default part that I always spawn in. And if you click this little carrot icon right here, there's different options on what you can add. You can add a sphere, you can add a wedge. All types of things that you use for building for games. Next, I'm going to talk about the workspace and the explorer. So this right here is the explorer tab. To open this, just like I was talking earlier, you go to view and click explorer. If your explorer isn't already there, to add it, you can just. I'm going to close out of this to show you guys. Once you click it, it's pop in right here. If it's not popped in already on the side and you want it to be on the side, simply drag it to the center of the screen. And select this and then just shift this over like that it's kind of weird to get used to the way like little panel looking things but once you get used to it it's, it's really simple to just add stuff and change the way your studio looks but in the explorer it shows all these different services but the only things that we're going to really focus on in this video is the workspace so the workspace is basically everything that you see on your screen. So it's like all this, all these parts and stuff, like this sphere right here, it's right here, this spawn point right here, base plate, this big, big land, all of this is in the workspace. And from the workspace, you can change the properties of your parts. So for example, if I wanted to change how this sphere looked, I go into the properties tab, which is right up here, and I can change the colors, so I can make it a, uh, what color should I make it? So I'll just make it this pastel blue green. Um, there's a lot of other settings you can change. You can change uh, cast shadow, does that a shadow or not? Uh, reflectance, transparency, material. There's all sorts of things that you can change. Next, I'm gonna go over the tools. So to access your tools, like moving, scale, rotating, just go to home and you'll see all these options are right here. I'm already in select, so I can just select it like this and then I can press move and move it around. I can press scale, scale it up, scale down, rotate. Um, to change the amount that you're moving something, like for example, when I press move, it moves like smoothly. But if I want to move it like a precise amount, I can go over here to model and I can change the amount of studs that's moving. A stud is just like the basic unit of measurement in Roblox Studio. So like how like a centimeter is in like real life is studs. So I can change it to be like two studs. So now whenever I move it, it's like precise movements. Same thing with rotating. I can rotate by 40, that's where I'm at right now. I can rotate by 45 degrees. I can change it to like 90 degrees. So now rotate and it'll be precise. Lastly, there's transform. I know it looks kind of confusing, but there's just a bunch of different options. So basically it's just all of these things in one. So like I can rotate, um, 
Pro. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know what this does. I can move it up, scale, and things like that. Next, I'm gonna talk about the toolbox. So to access the toolbox, just go over to home, press toolbox, and basically, this is where you can get anything. Like, if I wanted to add a car into the game, I could do that. All I would do is just press vehicle, look for cars, uh, out of this, right here. No, I have this car. Um, a quick disclaimer about using the toolbox. I wouldn't, unless you're like a very like new to Roblox Studio and you're just using it like for fun, I would not recommend using the toolbox for your games just because, but there's a lot of risk to it because people could put like scripts on the models that will end up messing up your game and you can't really fix it. And also it's just like, it's not your work. So um, some people steal models and then post it as their own. So in the future, you could get in trouble for that even though you didn't really do anything. But uh, besides that, Okay, next thing I'm gonna go over is how to play slash run the game. So to play the game, it's pretty simple. Just go to home, press play, and you'll join in the game. So now I'm in the game, I can just do whatever I want, test the game, play around, whatever. And then there's also the option to run the game, and it's kind of hard to describe. If I were to press run, it would just run the codes of my game without me having to join the game and having to wait to load in and all that. Another thing I want to go over is how to add things into the workspace. So as you saw earlier, I had added a part, just clicking here. I could also add that same part by pressing the plus button next to the workspace and pressing part. And right here, I have a part. Um, there's a lot more options when you go over here and insert an object into the workspace. For example, um, I can make a fire. It just spawns in over here. I have this fire right here, and I can insert this fire into this other part. So, you see this part is over here. And I can put this fire onto the part. And so now, wherever I move the part, the fire falls along. And like a part, the fire also has properties. So I can increase the heat, make it like, let's see, 25 is the max. So you can already see it's going up more. I can make it bigger, let's see what's the max. It's a huge fire. Um, last thing I'm gonna go over is like organization. So if I wanted to group all of these parts together, right? They're all parts, so I wanna group them together. If I were to select all of these, like this, they're highlighted blue in the workspace. I could right click, and I can group them as a model or as a folder. So I know this is a little bit more complicated stuff now. I'm just trying to give you guys like a basic understanding of how to organize things in Studio. So I'm just gonna group them as a model, okay? So now they're all together. I can rename this like parts. And when I move this model, they all move together. If I wanted to select one of these objects individually, I could open up the model over here and select one. Or, I can simply press Alt, I can hold Alt and click one, and it's going to select it out of the model. Otherwise, it would just select the whole model when I click on it. That's all for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, leave any video ideas or questions you guys have. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, we made a lot of different stuff. But, with all that being said... I'll see you guys in the next video.